everybody and I am back for part five of the pomegranates. So in this part, this is probably going to be the closest we are going to get to Valentine's Day. So I'm going to say that this episode is going to be on Valentine's Day. I think it's actually going to be on Friday, Thursday or Friday in some time. But I'm just going to say it for the sake of saying it because it's not going to get any closer than this. And it's all pre-recorded. I've got to pre-record lots and lots of parts of different things, lots of builds, lots of things like that because I'm going on holiday so I won't be able to actually film this on Valentine's Day even though I would absolutely love to do it. But anyway, so it's getting pretty late and I think that Jane has class in 10 hours. She hasn't started her homework but she's doing pretty badly at school. I wonder what actually is going to happen if she <laughs> she actually fails school. I mean, can you do that? Can you, can you fail school? I'm not sure. But I think Pilar would really be a bit oblivious at the moment. I think Pilar's so incredibly happy with what's happening in her own life. She went on a date last episode and she has some romantic interests with Dylan. The date didn't go very well, mainly because he's a non-committal and I think that Pilar was speaking to him about really things that she'd be interested in happening in the future whether that be having a family or getting married again, I think that they're the things that she would definitely be saying to him on a first day and it would probably put him off more than anything. He'd probably be thinking, this is terrible, I need to get out of here quick. So I guess that's why their date didn't go very well, but we shall see. <laughs> so Scarlett in the last part, she was doing some artwork, but she's pretty tired. So she's gonna go to sleep. I want to get Jane up, I want to have some interactions with Jessica because they were speaking in the last bit and I want them to become really, really good friends. And I think that they both want that, to be quite honest. So I think that that would definitely be a good suggestion. She can sleep in school, why not? I don't know how this school scenario is going to go for Jane. I'm not sure whether she will be good and she will get like an A or a B even when she finishes. I mean, she's got a long, long way to go. She's only just turned into a teenager, in fact. Yeah, she has a whole life ahead of her, so not really that much of a big deal that she's not doing too well in school at the moment because she's got plenty of time to improve. That's nice though, they're getting on really well. She needs to go to the toilet. Does Jane always need to go to the toilet? I always feel like Jane or Pilar always needs the bathroom. I mean, I want to get them that trait where you can have a steel bladder, but I don't know if you can have it for The Sims 4. Maybe she'd just go and maybe then she would do another interaction when she comes back with Jessica because I do want them to be friends. And I'm glad that this bug's been fixed where what happens sometimes is The Sims go home or they don't sleep all the way through the night if you invite them over. So I think that got fixed in the last update. So pretty happy with that. I want her to brighten Jessica's day. I just want them to speak, like tell an engaging story. I mean, take pictures together, anything really, because they're getting on really, really well. Oh, they're already friends. That is fantastic. That is really, really good. So she has a, quite a few friends on a friendship list, to be quite honest now. It's going pretty well. She's friends with Joel. Of course, she's friends with Tommy. He's a romantic interest. I'm actually hoping that they can go out on a Valentine's date together. That would be amazing. And it's really nice that these two are getting on. So I'm really happy with how that is going. I think that what I will do though is I will make sure that we are speeding some time up because nothing good is ever going to happen at 1am in the morning. And I think that because she's got class in seven hours, it's important that she eats some food, so mac and cheese probably. And then she's just going to go to sleep and just go upstairs. Uh, sleep. Who's in the bed? Scarlett, why are you in that bed? You have your own bed. Probably because it's comfier. Oh, she's going home, that's fine. She's hardcore going home at 2 a.m., really? If somebody invited me over and I had to go at 2 a.m., I wouldn't go. You wouldn't be able to get rid of me until morning, seriously. <laughs> Even with a taxi, I just, no. But her energy bar's going up pretty quickly, which I'm rather happy about. Pilar has work in 13 hours. Oh, so she's she's getting closer to going to work. She hasn't actually gone to work yet, I don't think. So I wanted to prepare some food before she goes, so I've got to make sure that she does that. And I think that Pilar 
to be quite honest, because she went on a date with Dylan. I think that she'd be getting a little bit obsessive. I think sometimes people can get like that when you go on a date and stuff. Maybe it doesn't work out and the other person was really, really cool about the whole thing like Dylan was. I think that Pilar would be desperate to invite him over and just like explain that she's sorry, that she's hoping that it can work out and stuff. And I don't know, I don't know how I'd be with that. I'm not sure, maybe we will though, maybe before she goes to work we can invite Dylan over and we can we can see what happens basically, we can say what he has to say about the whole thing. Scarlett's incredibly hungry so she's going to get some breakfast, I'm not sure what she's eating, what's she eating? Crisps, why does she always have chips? It's always chips or that cereal which is multicoloured, which is based around Lucky Charms I think, so there's that. Now, Jane is feeling pretty refreshed, which is amazing. I want her to sleep in for a little bit longer because when it comes to the end of the day when she's gonna go home from school, I want a lot of stuff to kick off there. Like, I want her to be able to go out. I want her to meet up with Jessica at some point as well and maybe go to Jessica's den. And I think that we will do that. I think that would be an interesting thing to do. Pilar just cooking in the kitchen, so I'm just gonna fast forward time a little bit, get that stuff sorted because I don't actually know what she's got. Oh spaghetti it's a little bit healthier but still still spaghetti in the mornings i need to sort this whole issue out because this family eats the strangest things ever for breakfast but then again maybe if she just fancies it maybe if she had a late night oh dylan hey pilar it's me dylan do you want to go out on a date wow of course she'd go she would be absolutely dying to know what he thinks about her and i think that it's important for her to do that as well I don't know if Jane will actually go to school by the time that Pilar gets back. Because Pilar left by the time Jane goes to school, Pilar will never know if Jane really went to school or not, which is interesting because Jane would definitely be trying to skive, especially if she's not doing very well. I don't imagine that she'd want to stick around at school for very long. So we've arrived at the Von Holt estate. We're greeted by one of the ghosts already. It's a little bit, it's a little bit strange, you've got to admit. I mean, seeing a ghost at the Von Holt estate, okay, that's fine. But still, it's always the same ghost. It's always Bernard or Mimsy, which is just strange. I do want to dress him at some point and actually put some clothes on him because he always looks like he's about to go swimming and that's fine, but still, what? Why is she dressed like that? Don't dress like that on a date. She is just, she is not playing it cool. She is not, she is try hard. She is just doing too, too badly at this whole situation. She needs to put on some day wear. I mean, just look at her. She's like, she's thinking to herself, I really want to impress this guy. I'm going to wear a ball gown to a date. Mmm, fantastic. So what did we put Pilar in, in the makeovers? I think, I think the other outfits I just left the same. Maybe I had a recolor of some of them. I'm not too sure. Oh, that looks nice though. She looks nice in that. I like, I like what she's wearing. I think we could probably change his outfits as well. Can we change his outfits? No, we can't change his outfits. Okay. But anyway, so I guess they're here now, so that's quite nice. Maybe Scarlett and Jane should try hard at school. Maybe. Just get their grades up a bit. I mean, it keeps everybody happy. And it's just all around easier. I mean, I know they're going to be stressed when they get back. But if Jane's going to go out on a date with Tommy later anyway, which I really want her to do for Valentine's Day, then that should be pretty interesting in itself. And they should have some fun there. Oh, look. So cute. They make such a good couple as well. But I don't even know if they will be a couple because I don't know how the kids would feel about it. And it does feel like Pilar really does have to sneak behind her children's backs about the whole thing and she can't really just be honest and say I'm going on a date with this guy and that's that. I mean I think that Scarlett hates him doesn't she? I think she does. I can't remember. Oh she hasn't even registered him. That's pretty bad. Uh, let's see what Jane thinks about him. Nope nothing there either. So they don't actually know him. They don't know what on earth is going on at this moment. They have absolutely no clue. Oh dear. Is she the other woman? <laughs> I think she must be. I think she must be because this guy's obviously a player and there's some other women arriving. Like It's really strange though because every single time we've gone out on a date, I say, I say every single time, we've only gone twice. But still, I mean, it's just strange though. It's it's actually quite strange how all these women hang, ar hang around him and they act like they've been played by him before. I mean, she stands around when we're on a date and she's pretty nasty about the whole situation. I think that Pilar would probably ask her to leave in a polite way, so I want to do that. Maybe it would be, go away? Can we just do that? 
Can we just say go away? Seriously, because if she doesn't like her anyway, it's going to be unpleasant if she's here. So, fantastic. She's gone. Brilliant. Yeah, well, even though it was rude, <laughs> it was rude in a polite way. Can that even happen? I want them to flirt. I want her... I want her to be flirty with him. I actually want... I want them to be flirty together before she even starts like confessing attractions and things because that did not go well last time and they're just friends oh my love birds okay well that changed maybe they could hold hands yeah because that is like the first step from kissing and i think that he'd definitely invite her out later as well i want them both to go on a date i want them to double date i hope that's not too strange or anything but i think that that would be definitely a nice thing for them to do but i don't want to spend too long here so i want pilar to flirt with him again I don't want her to risk it. I mean, I think that Pilar would probably just jump in with this whole thing. Like she would, she would be confessing her attraction like before they've even just arrived. But I think that I want her to wait a little bit. I want her to wait. I think it's gonna be okay now if she confesses her attraction. I'm hoping. I'm really, really hoping. I mean, it's it's not that bad, really. I mean, when you think about it, it's not like we're asking him to be her boyfriend or something it's nice that he can talk to somebody i think that's what's just popped up i'm not sure first kiss yeah why not i mean they seem to be friends so let's go for it oh that's so cute oh dear that was an awkward one <laughs> that was a really awkward first kiss they're laughing at it though which is nice i like this situation i think they go really really nicely together i don't want her to this date just keeps getting better oh that's so cute maybe we could give him a present because it is coming close to valentine's day maybe they wouldn't have like a really formal date or anything maybe they just have a really chilled casual date maybe that's actually what dylan wants he just wants a really casual relationship he doesn't want to think too seriously about anything so it makes sense right so we do friendly could we could we give him a gift let's see if we can give him a gift oh no okay stop what you're what are you doing Oh, chatting with Mimsy and D How on earth are you chatting with them? They're not even here. Oh, they're ghosts, though. They do really weird things. Do you want to see if we can get him a gift of some sort? I mean, can we even do that? I want her to give him a gift because it's Valentine's Day. And it's supposed to be the time of giving. No, that's actually Christmas. It's not the time of giving. But it's still, it could be. We could still give him something and it could be a little gift. We can't even do that. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring him some chocolates from home or something. I think that's what she'd do. She'd cook him something and she'd bring it in. But anyway, so this date is going well. But I do want to end it. I hate to say. Oh, time only 48 minutes. Okay, there's not that actual... There's not that long left. And I think that maybe she would have some more interactions with him. Flirt, share secrets. I want to be a bit closer. I really like the fact that they can be that close. Oh, some neighbours. Well, that's quite nice. Tommy's here. Gina's here. Why is Gina and Tommy off school? Why is Tommy off school? Not Gina. Gina's too old for school. But why is Tommy off school? Seriously, and why is his mum okay with it? I don't know. That is so strange, though. And Bella Goth is, of course, here. Well, maybe we'll just go home, then. I mean, they're not really chatting, and she's pretty embarrassed about an awkward encounter. Probably from Mimsy. So I want her to go home, and I want her to travel. So we're gonna travel and we're gonna go buy ourselves back to the house because that is definitely important for this. I don't want to take him with us because it's gonna get to the point where we're gonna have to go to work soon. Well, Pilar's gonna have to go to work and I don't want her faffing about on a date because Dylan will be in the house. And also she hasn't properly introduced him yet to the kids. So maybe she'll do that in the next part. I mean, they are pretty serious now. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're definitely seeing each other. I don't know if Dylan would ever be Pilar's boyfriend because he's a non-committal. So I don't know if he would. We're back home now, so I want Pilar to go and have a shower really, really, really quickly. And we haven't actually got long until Jane gets back and also Scarlett. So I do want to go out with Jane pretty much as soon as she gets back, I think. Unless she needs to do some things. Maybe she needs something to eat. Maybe she needs some fun in her life. And we'll do that. But I'm going to fast forward this so, so, so quickly. I want Pilar to start preparing some food because that is what she needs to do. So she needs to serve some lunch. 
she'd serve some things for her children when they get back. So fish noodles, fish tacos, fish noodles. What is that? I've never had that before in my life. I don't eat a lot of fish though. I eat noodles though. I like noodles. Serve lunch, let's do uh, Capri salad. Maybe there'd be just a couple of options that she'd do because she's got some spare time or she's looking, <laughs> she's getting really, really hungry looking at all this food, that's funny. She's got work in two hours. Okay, so she's prepared, prepared some food. So now she can eat it, which is what she's already doing. So that's nice. I like, I like the fact that she is eating the food after she's prepared it. She's not just preparing it and leaving it because that would just be so sad to spend all that time doing something and then not even use it yourself. So it's nice that she's doing that. So she's got work in 55 minutes. So it's going down quite a lot, but she's feeling flirty. She's probably thinking back to her date. Okay, she wants to woohoo with somebody. We know who that somebody is. That is definitely Dylan that she's thinking about. Let's see what else she's feeling flirty about. Okay, she's feeling date delight. Uh, first kiss, fantastic. Decorated, good environment and delicious dish. And yeah, okay, the date from the, the delight. That's fantastic though. That's really good that the date actually went well. And I'm actually very happy that Dylan gave Pilar another chance because she probably was a little bit too full on in the last part. So I'm actually quite happy that he has given her another shot at it and it's worked out for the best. So Jane and Scarlett are both back. She is shattered. She's gonna have some fun on the computer and Scarlett is just watching television. Pilar's at work. I want Pilar to work really, really hard because I want her to get a promotion. Let's see what she needs for that. So she needs to, oh, she's really high. That's fantastic. So maybe not this time, but maybe the time after she'll get a promotion. In fact, no, maybe if she works really hard this time, then she might actually be able to get one. And then she would be chef level seven, which would bring in more money. And I think eventually if Pilar does keep getting promoted and promoted, I think I will move into a bigger house, but I'm not sure. I mean, I just created a house that I have fallen in love with myself. I love it. I think it's called, what is it called now? I called it Ivory's Girly Home, that's it. And I might move them into that. I mean, as time goes on, I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do. But now it's getting pretty late. So I want Jane to go out straight away. I want her to travel. I wanted to go with Jessica Mortray and I want to quickly show everybody where Jessica Mortray is actually living. And I want you to see it, like for your very own eyes. I mean, you can see the absolute pit of a place. And then we can go on our date with Tommy. I mean, it's really just so that we can see it, but I think that Jessica would probably invite Jane over anyway, as Jane has invited Jessica over. I think she's one of these people that would definitely want to invite her back over. So we are here at their place where they live. It's a little bit plain. It looks like a campsite to be quite honest. More than anything, it's very dirty. There's not a lot of them to do here and it's just things that they've collected over time. And I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not that great either. So now that Jane has seen it, she really does feel bad for Jessica, I think more than anything. And the other gothic nightmares are here. I don't think that they're too fussed about Jane being here because they don't really have a problem with her. I mean, I know that Blondie wasn't that keen on Jane, but I think that more than anything, she would still be okay with Jane looking at where they live. And also she knows that Jane isn't particularly close with Tasman yet. I mean, they're not best friends. So she doesn't really have a problem with Jane being here. I don't think. But they're over here making a fire, but I don't want Jane to stick around for too long, mainly because I don't think that she would. I think that she would try and get out of here as fast as she could because she would, she'd not feel amazing about being here. And I think that she'd feel sorry for them. She'd feel bad for them because they live in the middle of nowhere. But they have a beautiful view though. It's a really nice view where they have it. And I don't know if you can see the Loch Ness Monster from here. Not the Loch Ness Monster, but the sea monster. I don't know if you can see the sea monster from here. I'm not too sure. But anyway, so I want Jane to now probably go and invite Tommy out. And maybe we will think about what to do with Jessica at a later date. I mean, because they are friends and because Jane would want to help her friend out. I mean, would she ask her mum if Jessica could move in with her for a few days? I don't know if she would. Maybe if they were a little bit closer, maybe if they were best friends, then they would. But for now, I want Jane to probably go out with Tommy and they can travel somewhere. 
Jessica would definitely want to go, but I think that Jane would say, well, it is Valentine's Day. I do want to go out somewhere with Tommy, so I will, I will do it. And she'd just ask him out. Like, it wouldn't be a big thing. Maybe it wouldn't be a really, really formal date. Maybe it would just be a place where they could go together. I think more than anything, they just go out as friends, though. So I want them to go to the park, which I'm going to quickly change for the one that I made, I think, maybe a couple of days ago now. So I've just changed the park, which is the one that I made on my Let's Build tutorial. So you'll see that. Now we're already greeted by a few strange sims. Miles Westfall is actually flirting with Jane, it seems. I think he is. I definitely want her to speak to him though because he's one of the sims that I made and Tommy has already stepped in and he's like, yes, I want to speak to Jane actually. He's feeling really, really miserable about the whole thing. He doesn't even know her. How pushy is he? Who's this? Caden Valentine. Hmm. He looks very, very similar to the other sim that is Dylan, actually. He's feeling so flirty. Well, this is really bad, though, because they're supposed to be on a date together, Tommy and Jane, but this isn't going very well. I think that Jane isn't a zero romantic, but she's just one of these people that would really want to talk to everybody and get to know absolutely every single person before she jumps into something. Because being somebody that's trying to find the one, you want to make sure that it's the right one. And I don't know. I don't know if she would flirt with him, but I think that she'd definitely like to speak to him. I don't want to speak to him that much, though. I don't want her to speak to him too much so that she's not even going to really appreciate Tommy at this moment. But I'm just going to briefly put some lights in this part because I think I forgot them in the last build. Okay, so I put some lights in because it's getting pretty dark. And I want her to maybe not to spend too much time talking to Miles. He really wants to speak to her. He's like, hey, why would you leave me like this? Why would you walk away when we're having a perfectly nice conversation together? I don't know. But I do want to just speak to uh, Tommy and get to know him. But he's already talking to Bajon Bajus or whoever he is. Maybe we could just ask him to leave or something. I want her to give Tommy a gift, but I don't know where to find one of those either. It's a shame, actually. Such a shame. Romantic. No, not embrace. What's embrace? I don't know what that is. But Miles is trying to join in. He is trying to find his way around and he's trying to talk to them. Oh, they're so cute. So, so cute in this part. Like, this is just absolutely beautiful. I really wish that this person wasn't here, though, because he's really ruining everything. I mean, he's probably saying, no, you kids are too young and you probably should not be in this park. And it's getting late. You should probably just go home. So let's just, let's, let's, let's tell him to leave. Let's ask this person to leave. Go away. Let's just say go away. Yeah, perfect. Go then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Brighton day. Inside joke. Oh, so cute. Flirt. Let's see what these are doing over here. Oh, so this is Articus Angel. Articus Angel. So he must be... The brother to Angel or the son? I don't know. I didn't think that Angel was married. I'm talking about the Angel that Pilar knew. Angel, let's see. Arthur Angel. That Angel. But I think that these two would be having an amazing conversation at this point. It's just such a beautiful romantic setting though. I think that this setting definitely works for a date as well. I think it's just such a romantic place. Maybe she would, she'd flirt with him. They've already exchanged numbers though. They already have. I mean, even if she doesn't have his number, I think she'd want it. Definitely. And then she would compliment his appearance. She would, I mean, I really, really am hoping that they would have these feelings like being mutual. I really hope that he would say things back to her. <laughs> They're getting pretty close though. They're actually getting up in each other's spaces at the moment. I hate when that happens on The Sims 4, but it's still nice. I'm really hoping that he would be feeling flirty. It's a bit strange how he's not even feeling flirty. She's not even feeling flirty. She's feeling confident. Maybe we'll try one more time and then we will first kiss. Would they have a first kiss? Why not? Why not do it? I mean, it's the, it's the right setting. It's Valentine's Day for both of them and they have instant attraction to- <gasps> No! Oh my gosh! No! He actually rejected Jane. That's awful. Oh, Blondie's here and she's like, ha ha ha. 
so happy that's happened. Maybe it's Tasman. Maybe because he still has feelings for Tasman or they have a thing together. It probably feels like Jane's being a bit full on and he's just been polite then. He just said, I hope you understand. But no, I have feelings for Tasman. So maybe not. That's pretty bad. I don't think they're together or anything. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it there and we're going to find out what happens in the next part. Will these two make up? I don't know. They're supposed to be lovebirds, but they're not looking like lovebirds. And now Miles has just arrived. I don't know what's going to happen now. But we're going to see what happens in the next part. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you all for part six.